Hey guys, it's Monica. In this video, I am going to share with you a couple of items that I have repurchased with my own money. This was actually a suggestion from one of you that I share products that were given to me in PR, those that I've bought on my own afterwards. And at the tail end, I also share a throwback to when I first became a real estate agent and it's sort of like this little transition of my business cards over time. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, so Maureen Hansen had responded when I asked for ideas or suggestions that she would love to have me talk about some of the products that were sent to me either in PR packages or Octoly and show the ones that I've rebought or the ones that I've purchased continuously. So I thought about that. I said, you know, what a great idea. You know, I didn't really think about that. So I'm going to throw back on this throwback Thursday to some of the products that were initially given to me in PR that I have rebought and rebought. And I have actually quite a bit, but I don't want this to be super long. So I'm going to go with just a few for this video. And I'm going to start probably with the ones that I've bought the most. You all know, this is not going to be a surprise. I am, I, first of all, I pulled my powder dip off. My nails are ugly, so excuse my nails. But I'm a face mask person. I love masking. I think there's nothing nicer than a beautiful face mask treating yourself like that. And one of the masks that I have, I've actually gifted this to other people because I love this so much. And I would say that my ultimate favorite mask is the City Beauty. This was initially sent to me in a PR package and I loved it so much that I reordered it. After I reordered it and I got a second PR package from City Beauty, they included more. And I love them. I love these masks. I think these, these are the Line Smoothing Hydro Masks. It's one sheet mask per package. They say you can leave it on for like 20 minutes. Truth be told, sometimes it's on my face for 30 minutes, 40 minutes until I pull it off. I normally will take any excess fluid out of this pouch and I'll put it all down my neck, into my decolletage, you know, just all over the place. So hands down, City Beauty, I have repurchased, they have re-gifted, I love this face mask. Another face mask that, and actually products that I have purchased, is from Gin Amber Beauty. Now the first product that I ever purchased from Jen was one of her medical grade derma rollers. And at the time, I had bought a derma roller off of Amazon. I had bought a derma roller from Timeless. I had bought a derma roller from a few other places. And she was talking about her medical grade derma roller and I said, oh, I don't think I really want to spend the money on that. You know, I watched one of her videos where she showed the difference and I said, okay, that's all I needed to see. If I'm going to poke, if I'm going to poke holes in my skin, I want to do it medical grade. And while more pricey than the regular derma rollers, it wasn't an outrageous price. So I bought these. After I bought Jen's derma roller, I talked about her derma roller. I, I talked about her products because I thought she was a really, really cool YouTuber lady. She's beautiful. She she's, uh, talks with a heavy accent, so she made me feel very much at home. I really loved her products. She reached out to me at one point and said, we'd like to send you a PR package. And that's the same thing that happened. I got a second Derma Roll, Roller Free, and she sent me some face masks. And she sent me some other products as well. I've got the face, the dolphin that I use, but since Maureen Hansen had posed this question about me sharing products that I have bought that were gifted to me, so I've not bought the dolphin, I've not rebought any of the other skincare yet because I still have plenty, but I have bought her face masks. I love her face masks. She also has eye masks, which I usually just put on my 11s. I know, I don't put them under my eyes. So face masks, I have repeatedly bought the City Beauty ones, and I'm fortunate enough that they have sent me PR package to include them again. And the same thing with Gin Amber. I really like that a lot. The other thing that 
and I only have a small bottle left to share with you, uh, PR packages from Pixie Beauty. I've gotten some amazing PR packages from Pixie Beauty. They they recently sent me this whole skincare line. I haven't even really tackled that yet. I will. But uh, one of the things that I really like is their Glow Tonic. It came in a PR package. I used it. I loved it. I went and I bought it uh, in Target. And then when I went traveling, I bought a travel size. And you can see it's almost gone. So I have a travel size. I don't know if you can see that, but it is almost gone. So I have a travel size. And out of all the Pixie Beauty products, I like their, I like their, uh, their, their cleanser. Uh, I haven't bought it yet though because I have enough cleanser. I'm not going to buy stuff that I don't really need. But their glow tonic, I went right through that. So I bought myself a glow tonic. Then I bought this travel size glow tonic, and I'll probably buy another full size glow tonic unless I get one in a PR package. And they never tell you ahead of time. They just the PR package just shows up, which I think is so cool. The other thing that uh, I have bought is the, and I, and I really like this a lot. I got this initially in a, from an Octoly package. I don't even know how long ago now. And it was big sexy hair. This is Powder Play. And I like this. I have bought this over and over again. I've gotten it from my hairdresser. It's just, ooh, I just put some on. It's just a light powder. If you, especially in the summertime, I'm not, oh, I just put it on my hair. I'm nuts. But in, uh, the, re the thing I really like about this is in the summertime, if I go bike riding or I'm out and about and I have a hat on, I can take my hat off, take, and I carry this with me, take some of my big sexy hair, put it in my hands, poof, poof, and I can fluff up my hair. That I really like. That's really super important when you have thin hair like me because if you have something that can fluff up your hair, it makes you feel like you have more hair and it makes you feel really good. So initially this came in um, in Octoly and I absolutely love it and I have bought it I have reused it I've taken it traveling I've done I done all all sorts of things the other one that I would mention would be my Foreo mini now I bought my Foreo mini well before Octoly sent me one for review so I have a Foreo mini Octoly sent me one and if either one of my current Foreos break, which I can't imagine them doing because one is like going on three years old and one is almost brand new, but if they were to break, I would purchase them with my own money because I have. I really love it. So now, <laughs> I hope that, Maureen, I hope that answers your question. If anyone is interested in hearing more about some of the products, like I have repurchased a perfume, things of that nature, I'll be more than happy to, to talk about that in a future video. So just leave it in a comment below. I truly appreciate it. For my throwback, I'm going back to my early real estate career. When I started in real estate, I started in a small firm called Blinn Realty Gallery of Homes way back in the day. And... I don't have any of the business cards from that time frame. That they just disappeared on me. I do have a couple of photos back then. One you can see where I, it's going to be coming up soon. I, I'm going to see. I'm going to superimpose it. But one you can see I'm in front of a wall of plaques, um, and that's sort of like when you achieved awards. We always put them on the wall, and then we would take photos and stuff like that. It was a real big deal. But in my early real estate career, I worked for Blinn Realty Gallery of Homes. When Jay and I got together, when we got married, I joined his family firm, which was Hampstead Associates, initially, and then they started to do uh, a business DBA at Stage Road Realty, So, because their office was in a new uh, complex called Stage Road Realty Junction. So I worked with Jay in Stage Road Realty, and we, we worked together. It was a small boutique type firm until we joined Century 21. In Century 21, back in the day, look at some of these cards. They are absolutely hysterical, especially when you look at the email addresses on the cards. Back then, we had to change our email all the time. It was crazy. But back in the Century 21 days, I went from broker manager, office manager, as did Jay, to training director. So we held um, high positions in that company for training and for managing. When we left Century 21, we joined Prudential Barani, which is the company I'm with now. I'm still with Barani Realty today, but back in the day it was Prudential Barani. 
We joined Prudential Verani, and we were with Prudential for a while until the franchise decided not to renew anymore. They wanted to focus in on their insurance arm of their business. So we then became Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Verani Realty, which is where both Jay and I work real estate today. I'm currently the training director for the company. I also manage their, their uh, manage and head up their pre-licensing division. So they have a pre-licensing school where people come to class to become a realtor. And then my passion, my true passion is post-licensing training. I love doing post-licensing training. So I still do that. Almost half of my real estate career has been with Verani. It's been a great ride. And I, I crack up when I go back and I look at these um, old business cards. These old photos of us and oh my gosh how young we were back in the day so anyways i um i hope you kind of enjoyed my little throwback and i hope you kind of enjoyed hearing about the products that i have bought again there are more uh which i don't mind including in another video if you're if there's an interest but yeah i you know i enjoyed doing this and and i hope i hope i know this is such challenging times for us all and even, you know, some of our own members in, in our community are stricken with this virus. It is running rampant. It is all over the place. It does not discriminate as to who is going to get it. And um, all I can say is, you know, please be safe. Practice all your social distancing. You know, when all the things that everyone tells you to do, I, have to, I don't have to tell you to wash your hands. I don't have to tell you to be super, super careful. You all know that. Just be safe. I want to see you in my next video. We will get through this. I'll talk to you later, guys.